sideline will bring it out. Hesitated for a moment to find the seam. Fumbled the football, and Notre Dame appeared to recover. Well, let's start with your overall evaluation about how your team played against Navy. We, we didn't start defensively the way we wanted to, but we settled in uh, in the first quarter after that first possession of Navy uh, the way I wanted to. We responded offensively with a score, and then defensively got, got up to speed quickly. And so I would say overall, some really good adjustments at halftime, and then I thought we finished strong. One of those second half adjustments was putting Jared Grayson at outside linebacker. How did he do for you? Seeing him out there was uh, a thrill for me to know what he's come back from. He did some good things for us. You know, obviously he's a little rusty. We wanted a little bit bigger uh, player at that position because they were running the fullback right through that area and they were going away from Jalen Smith, obviously, and going right to James' side. So we thought Jared would give us a little bit more size and I thought we'd, we'd, he did a nice job for us. Drew Martini had another good game against the triple option and Sheldon Day was exceptional. I thought Sheldon Day was outstanding and, and I can't say enough about Sheldon Day. Look, he didn't come to Notre Dame to, to go into his senior year and have to play option twice um, and he did a great job. Could be more proud of his effort. Matthias Farley came in and did what he always does. He made plays, and Elijah Shoemate made some huge plays for you. Elijah was on task. You know, he played a different position for us um, in the first uh, time that we played triple option against Georgia Tech. We had to move his position because of Tranquil's injury, and, you know, he had a key interception for us late, and I would say that, you know, Elijah was a, a big factor in, in our success on defense. The special teams play was huge as well. A couple that, that stand out is right before the half, uh, we we were able to get a 52-yard field goal from uh, Justin Yoon, and that's back-to-back -back weeks now, big kicks, a 45-yarder on the road against Clemson and 52 yards here at home. Then a big uh, hit on the kickoff team that, that we're able to turn that into a quick touchdown. Uh, I thought we did a great job on a pooch punt, you know, that we were able to down inside the five-yard line. We let the ball get outside our defense a couple of times on kickoff coverage. We got to do a better job there, but all in all, some big plays on our special teams. Here's a handoff to Procise. He turns it wide. He turns it up. He turns it in. He goes in. Touchdown, Notre Dame. CJ Procise bounces back with another strong rushing day. 129 yards, three touchdowns, each one of them impressive in its own way. Well, all three of them were runs where he had to make something happen. Now, one of them was, a, was great blocking on the perimeter, but he ran through a safety tackle. Um, another run was up inside where I just thought his acceleration uh, just left the defender uh, grasping for air. Uh, and then his last touchdown run could have been the nicest run that I think he had all day. He continues to grow as, as a running back, continues to learn every day. He's making great reads and, and he's still learning the position each and every week. And you look at that last touchdown run, he not only ran through, but he ran around. He found the opening, but he kept making forward progress. Well, he got his shoulders square and kept moving forward. The, the one thing that he is um, amazing at is that he, he figures things out as he kind of goes along. And, and he knows now that if he keeps his shoulders square and he keeps his feet moving, he's tough to bring down. He's, he's almost 225 pounds. He's a big kid and uh, difficult to bring down on the 30-yard touchdown to Will Fuller. Great play by Kaiser, and I'm not sure everybody noticed it, but what a cut Fuller made to get into the end zone. It was a great cut. You know, obviously, um, we were trying to get him the ball earlier to the front side of the formation, and, uh, you know, Deshaun lost vision of it uh, on the rush, but kept it alive, stepped up, flushed out, and what was amazing about it is his eyes were always downfield. He was scanning downfield, and, and you just can't teach that. Most quarterbacks would drop their eyes, would be thinking about running. His eyes were downfield. He saw Will got the ball, and then Will made a nice cut into the end zone. You know, we're getting to the end of this interview, and we're just now talking about Deshaun Kaiser. We almost now expect him to turn in these kinds of games, and he's only started four games for him. Only four games, and he's just a freshman, and, you know, there's a lot of things that he continues to do better and better, and there's many things that he needs to get uh, more experience at, but he's just fun to coach. You know, he's wide-eyed, he's confident, um, he's learning, he knows he doesn't have it all down yet, but, uh, you know, he's got a great presence about him, and he carries a lot of confidence with the group.